Return to Monkey Island marks the release of the sixth game in the iconic Monkey Island franchise after a long, long hiatus. The game takes place after the events in LeChuck's Revenge, the second game in the series, and focuses on the now grown up Guybrush Threepwood, spinning tales of adventure and exploits with his young son. Back is the simple point and click interface, the fun puzzles and stories, along with the quips and quirky humor that made The Secret of Monkey Island such an iconic game back in the early 90s. New to the game are updated graphics, great voiceovers, a to-do list, a scrapbook, and a whole new story. Once you finish the introductory portion of the game, playing as the son of Guybrush, you'll feel right at home on Melee Island, an updated but oh so familiar version of the original. Feels good to be back on Melee Island. If you played the 2009 special edition of The Secret of Monkey Island, the game's gonna make you feel right at home. The graphics have been updated to a bit of a blocky artistic style, but the animations, effects, and overall presentation are much better. I'm not sure how I feel about the new graphic style, but they do look a little better than before. Okay, don't worry about it. The sound is simple yet effective along with a musical score that brings you back to the original. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. The voiceovers have been really good as well, although I do find that some of the conversations do drone on a little longer than necessary. The story is pretty good so far. I've not yet finished the game, but the storytelling concept between father and son is a really nice addition. This time around, LeChuck is back at it and leaving on an expedition to find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't expect anything too crazy, or maybe you should. This is a Monkey Island game after all, so the unexpected is sure to happen. Included in the game is a scrapbook, which tells the story of the first two games. It's a nice way of getting back into things or simply catching up on what you may have missed. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials. Gameplay is a super simple point and click interface with some keyboard shortcuts to speed things up if you choose. The game is easy to get into with visual cues helping you along the way. The game offers a casual gameplay mode as well as a more difficult version with more puzzles. Also included is a hint book to help guide you on your way. The game isn't difficult, but often forces you to think like a pirate. You better move. So a bit of help isn't a bad thing. Return to Monkey Island has breathed new life into the franchise and along with it a whole lot of nostalgia. For those of us who enjoyed the originals, this is going to be a big win, but will it really live up to all the hype? That's for you to decide. Until then, I'm going to keep playing, enjoying the puzzles, story, quirky humor, and sense of adventure that I so enjoyed.